Hi, it's Jeff Ballard here. We wanted today to give you a quick rundown on our new product, the Moto Rack, which is designed to fit into mostly into utes, um, but you could also fit it into certain vans. It's a little bit uh, go along as you see a different vehicle. We we actually provide quite a bit of mounting hardware to fit a lot of uh, vehicles. This is uh, I'm in a Nissan right now, and the Nissan and the new Mercedes all have these uh, five bolt holes already. Uh, in, in the body so that makes it very easy and we've designed some of it around that but um, so uh, we'll mount it in a sec but right now I'll just give you a quick rundown so it's uh, the, the beauty of it is that it can uh, easily fit one bike uh, two bikes and there's a couple of different ways to mount two bikes and then three bikes which a lot of people think wow it must be tough to get three bikes in but with this it, it helps quite a bit because of the design uh, it's got these side arms that go on each side and, and uh, that allows to add to the strength of the whole unit but also gives more tie down points that are back a bit because with just a front panel you can't really hold properly uh, three bikes. So the other thing that it does is it makes it uh, quite a bit stronger because the front of these uh, are quite weak and um, so with the strength of the unit in place it's, uh, it's very, very strong. So. A number of mounting points uh, add strength and with its side um, design it uh, helps quite a bit. If you have to do the inserts we'll show you later how we, uh, how we use an insert but if you're having to put the inserts into the body then obviously getting the, the middle one in exactly the middle is, is important it makes everything so much easier for the side arms and everything. And, uh, it's obviously important to get the height, a certain amount of height into it so that the wheel, you know, if you had it really low, it wouldn't work. And it, it, each vehicle is a little bit different, but very, a lot of them are very, very similar to this. So in this case, it's easy. Um, all we're doing is just gonna mount the front bar, the main arm, and mount it loosely. Don't tighten anything until the end. It's not a bad idea to use a penetrating lube on the holes or, uh, some anti seize it's always a good idea with anything like this. So, um, okay, so the, the shorter of the, the black bolts is where we will start. And, uh, and just getting it into the middle is there you go. happening. So once you get one in, Now we've mounted the front main bar. You can tighten it a bit, but not fully tighten it. We'll do all that at the end. But uh, then we're selecting the side arms. And we're also trying to find particular areas that are gonna line up and work for us to run either of these two holes in, in through the side. The Nissan comes with, uh, a, lot of, a lot of the Nissans come with something like this. This is pretty easy. It comes with a longer mount bolt, like here, that'll go all the way through something like that. Um, so you just obviously fit these holes, they're slightly different sizes to allow some sort of adjustability on each side arm. Uh, and so in this case, uh, through to there and you can see it sort of lines up and we've actually already drilled an 8mm hole into this, into this arm. So uh, you just, you know, loose again to put all the uh, hardware in, but you obviously want to spread the bolts as wide apart, so I'm running that one on uh, number four let's say and then this one right on the end so once you've done that obviously we've already done this and lined up and had, sometimes you get someone to help you possibly to line up and get the, uh, the side bolt hole um, as accurate as you can in this case we're just using the longer bolt as I said earlier and that goes through the side arm and then again another nylock nut on the back of that um, and uh, this is part of the main strength of the whole thing and also a, a, a tie down point which is out, which is back because if they're all up the front here it makes it very very hard to tie something in without it being too loose so by coming back that helps that. So you just repeat that onto the other side and uh, the only other thing really from there is if you don't have any inserts at all from a factory vehicle like the Nissans or the or the Mercedes, then uh, our next step for the people who need it is to is to show how the inserts going. 
Okay, with the 11 millimeter drill that's supplied, we've drilled a hole into this uh, side here, and then the insert goes with the special nut that's uh, bolt that's provided with the 14 mil nut, the two washers, and then you put the insert on. Um, once you've done that, you just insert it into into the hole. Um, so now you need uh, something with a bit of leverage because it's quite firm. So it's a 13 mil on this end of the flange bolt. Uh, and um, so then the 14 supports it and the idea is to try and keep it as straight as you can especially when the tension starts coming onto it uh, so leverage you can feel it now just starting to bite so it's important to keep it square as you can okay once that's done then you just release it and that'll be your insert. Okay, so that's the insert flared off and it's an eight millimeter bolt of course, but that's all you need to do.